my name is Marco Fusi and uh, I'm from Italy, from Florence. My um, focus, my research focus mainly on mangroves ecosystems and uh, I'm trying to understand the uh, microbes ecology in this uh, particular and very sensitive ecosystem all, all around the world and especially here in the Red Sea. My name is Andrea Anton and I'm from Spain and I'm a postdoc here in the Red Sea Research Center. So what I'm doing here at, at KAUST is um, I'm, I'm studying um, coastal systems and uh, the effects that global warming uh, may have on, on these systems. And I'm specifically looking at coral reefs and, and seagrass meadows. My name is Yi Jin Liu. Um, I'm from Malaysia. I graduated from Cambridge four years ago and um, I started work as a postdoc under Manuel Aranda. So I do a lot of big data. I crunch, uh, I analyze genomes, I crunch data. Um, currently I'm working on something called epigenetics. So we want to find out what are the signals besides just the genes themselves. trying to assess and evaluate the effect of climate change on this microbiome and the roles in the relationship between among plants, crabs and sediments. Mangroves trees grow in a very stressed environment, very high saline environment and unfortunately I would say also in a strongly impacted environment. Oil spill or pollutant actually impact and affect a lot of this ecosystem. Since uh, the microbiome is evolving and is uh, uh, thriving in a very stressed uh, ecosystem like saline stress and also pollutant stress, uh, we are retrieving a lot of data that can be promising for agriculture. For example, if we think about uh, uh, saline stress plant or cultivars, understanding mangroves, understanding how to protect and enlarge the mangroves can be uh, absolutely beneficial for climate change because mangrove ecosystem is one of the best carbon storage ecosystems. So they are absorb very efficiently CO2 from the ecosystem, from the from the atmosphere, and they can stock carbon in the uh, biomass. Coral reefs in the in the Red Sea are exposed to a extreme gradient of, of temperature, so they are very close to their thermal limits. And then on top of those uh, extra, um, stressful natural conditions, there is uh, global warming. So it's a very interesting and, and unique place where to, where to study uh, global warming. Having research done here, uh, determining, for instance, like um, what is their thermal optima and specifically their, their thermal limits can help to predict um, what is going to happen in the future to coral reefs here, but also maybe coral reefs in, in other places. It has been published that um, many corals are dying at an alarming rate in Australia. And that is partly because they are not used to the high temperatures that they experienced over the last year. So part of our research is to find out what makes the Red Sea corals tick what makes them survive better in warmer, uh, warmer waters compared to the corals elsewhere. So some um, previous research in my field, they have focused on certain genes that confer better like heat resistance to the corals. But for us, we are going a step beyond just looking at the genes. We are looking at the epigenome. We are looking at whether how DNA gets um, modified in order to accommodate for these changes. Part of our epigenetic work is so that we want to study what makes the Red Sea corals adapt to the temperatures in the Red Sea better than the corals everywhere else. The possibility that I have here in KAUST is unique, I would say, because uh, uh, the possibilities and the capabilities of core labs uh, and uh, the fact that all the laboratory is uh, uh, work together in synergy give me the opportunity to develop new collaboration with uh, uh, other lab. I'm half a biologist and half a bioinformaticist. So when I, was, when I came to KAUS, I knew that my boss was very good at doing experiments in the lab. And so I wanted to learn from him. So in the early part of my postdoc career, I actually spent quite a lot of time in the lab. Um, and because KAUS has quite a lot of funding, we were able to get a lot of um, experiments done. It's very easy to collaborate at, at KAUS. So at the Red Sea, there are uh, many faculty and, and different groups. So 
One, one thing that um, happens here is that collaboration uh, occurs very naturally and, and quite often. So you can start with uh, your project and then you can bring in other people that they have other expertise and then they make um, your project different and, and most of the times uh, way better. And the same happens also with other groups. They may need your expertise and then you collaborate with them. So that is a very interesting uh, dynamic. And it's the only place that uh, I saw around the world uh, that can put together a good life and a superb and excellent research facilities that can really boost in a shorter time your career and your curriculum. The first thing is the capability of Gauss. So, and this is my suggestion for everyone that want to come to house is come with big ideas because here is more likely, it's, it's possible to, to develop and to build up your research on your, your idea, your big ideas. So my objectives when I came here at Kaus were to um, join this research group and then um, it almost immediately start doing research so I didn't have to um, look for funding, the, the group was uh, fully funded. So then we quickly, before even I came here, we started working on, on the projects that I was going to be developing. So that is also unique of Kaus, that you can almost, as a postdoc, come here and jump into, into research almost immediately. I'm a, not a stranger to living overseas, but Kaus is very different from um, the other universities that I've been to. So um, for, for starters, they are, there's so many different people over here. There's people from Europe, there's people from the Americas, there's people from Asia, there's people from Africa, everywhere. If you're doing marine science, the Red Sea offers you a very different um, ocean compared to what you can find everywhere, everywhere else. You're exposed to very different experiences over here, like you meet different types of people, um, you work on very challenging um, qu uh, scientific questions. Kaos has been has built up in a beautiful community where a lot of people meet and there is a possibility of make a nice experience and share a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, experience with a lot of people from all over the world. That is very important in my opinion. So I made a decision and I moved with my entire family. I moved with a um, two year old and a five month old and my husband. And I mean, it has been a, a great decision, so I definitely encourage people to, to come here to do research.